Hi, and thanks for visiting again. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial about manipulating images and buttons. In this tutorial, we are going to uh, learn how to manipulate images in Google Sites, finding and placing the images, captioning the images, which is kind of hidden, uh, making them buttons so they link to other things, and then actually connecting student work to those buttons on websites, which is one of the projects that my students are working on right now. So first, how to find uh, images and place them in a Google site. So I am going to go to insert and then images. But before I do that, I have to have the image saved. So my students right now are working on um, creating kind of a list of books that they're reading this year. So I'm going to take this image by I'm on a laptop. So I'm two finger clicking it and then I'm saving that image. I'm saving it to my desktop. Going back to my website, which is somewhere around here. Uh, I'm going to move to a different page first here, because this is where I'm loading all of my books. Um, now I can go to insert. I can find that image. And it's going to kind of give me the, the size that it was. But you can just drag these corners. And if you drag perfectly diagonally, oh, and I didn't, then it'll keep the integrity of what it looked like previously. And then you can actually just grab it and move it into place. I want this to be roughly the size of my other books. So I'm going to bring it in around there. OK, so now I have the image. Now I want this to, um, to have a caption. Like for this one, I said that I'm currently reading this book. So that's important for me as a teacher to know. Like these are the books that, that I've read in the past. Here's the book that I'm reading now. So let's just pretend that I was reading this book right now. I would come up to these three dots, more options, it's hidden in here, and then add this caption, currently reading. And I have my students actually tell me what page they're on every Wednesday. So page 50. And I can balance that out if I want, make it look all nice. And that's that. Now I have a decent uh, little caption there. Now this one I'm going to get rid of because I don't need it. Okay. And now I'd like to make this connect outward to, to some other web page. It can actually connect to other students' work. I'm essentially turning this image into a button to where it connects something else. Let's make this connect to its Goodreads page which is again, something that my students are doing. So I'm copying the URL address and then I just single click this. Oh, I have to click it twice because I have a caption on the bottom. It makes you do that. Excuse me. And then I do the link button and paste that in. And now once I publish, this will be a link out to its Goodreads page. Now my students are also working with student work. They have these independent reading projects that they're working on, and I actually want them to be able to attach a Google Doc to it. So in order to do that, I'm going to take you to my drive. I'm going to open a new doc. And my share settings are locked down because I'm in a district in a school website. I have to title it. Now, I'm going to open this up. Oops, I'm going to open this one up to anyone with the link. Done. And now I can share this. I can get the link and actually attach that directly to this. And now, as a teacher and as a student, they can collect their assignments every time that they have a reading project, independent reading projects are what they're working on, then they can connect their work directly to an icon on their website. I'll show you how that looks. It's actually pretty great. And off it goes right to their work. It's a great way to organize student work and keep it organized on a web page hub, which is what my students are working on uh, for their own individual web pages. Okay, that was how to connect how to make buttons, how to caption images, and finding and manipulating 
images in Google Sites.